So, this is my place. Um, it's been a couple days now since we've we've seen each other. Um, things have been good. Francesca has, she's really shown me a difference in myself, really. I've only met her a couple of times, and already she's the type of person that would just, she's real real with you. But brutally honest. She opened my eyes to, to what's really going on in my life, and you know, who I am as a person. So, today's a good day. Today's a good day. Um, I should be meeting my online partner soon. Uh, we're supposed to meet up later on, and uh, I'm pretty excited. A little, a little anxious, a little nervous. I mean, I never really met him, according to Francesca. So I'm coming out, my stepping stone. I'm coming out of the closet, if you will. Very important to, uh, pump the iron. Just yank it! You just gotta keep yanking! A couple of, uh, real good abdominal workouts. <laughs> so, my time in this country has come to an end. I have students overseas who need me, and my students here seem to take me for granted. I have devoted so much time to this career only to, to learn some things. You cannot trust anyone. Today for my last day, I am going to call my old friend Katie, well, my mentor, actually Katie. Girls, time out in the city for my last day because today I need some serious me time. She's the only one who has always been there for me at the drop of a hat. We we actually met in jail, that's where we became besties. We like to just walk the entire city and buy beers and brown paper bag them because we still don't know if that's legal or not. People watch me criticize some outfit. Sometimes we like to go to the Bronx Zoo, but last time I think that until there's a change of management, I don't think we're really allowed to go. I haven't seen her in a while, so I think that she can truly make my last day a happy one, as opposed to most everyone who I know. Francesca! Mm. Uh, mm. Here, you can take my stuff. But it's heavy. <laughs> Art man, I'm wow, I love the place. It looks so... lived in. Live here, how expected to look? Well, you know, it's been a little while. You just kind of move things around a little bit. I still like it, though. Yeah. It's so hot in here. I thought I left the heat in the keys. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's so ridiculous. Um, the, the AC doesn't work. Of course it doesn't. The stove doesn't work. And there's one more thing that doesn't work, and I can't remember. But you can fix that, because like I said, you came right in time for the apartment. I know. You leave for Milan tomorrow, right? <laughs> That work out like that. It's perfect. I need some me time to clear my head. Not that the ocean and the waves and the water was not good enough. You know, petting dolphins up close is kind of intense, but very spiritual. Okay, you can't just steal all of my sayings. Oh, I can't be spiritual now? Well, After okay. all this time we've been married? I Whatever, I don't know, I'm sorry, we've had this fight. This is where she says to the camera, model number 12, model number 7, blah, 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 blah. In the keys, we don't need mottos. The motto is, give me a drink, Eduardo. So we married for legal purposes. She was an illegal alien. We were both young. I had spent all my trust and money on a, some bad investments. Mm, bad investments? Thai shemales, to be exact. I mean, Whatever. more of the story. Don't mix business with pleasure. It never works out. Two young misfits trying to take this city by storm. And we did the only logical thing people do in America. We get married. Okay, you tell your story to cameraman, and I'm gonna go get ready. Cameraman. So this is basically my everyday routine. I need to have basically everything in here. It all 
keeps my body going. Oh, tons of vitamins. I mean, we got calcium or iron, beta blockers, fuel softener, an apple, or multivitamins. All purpose, all natural. Well, I don't know about all natural. Low dose of steroids. Aldura, uh, prednisone, uh, Amitrol, because um, all the stuff makes me kind of nauseous. Sursa, gotta take my blood pressure. Uh, Wellbutrin, uh, a little Ambien. Some Afrin, keep the uh, nose nice and clean. Uh, just, you know, pop them in there. Real quick. It's a lot to swallow, but you know, I get used to it. <sighs> it's like a big piece of steak. Are you serious? Uh-huh. So he's from cameraman number three. <laughs> Katie, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, um, hello, Art. How have you been? Um, I'm good. I'm, uh, just, uh, taking your little missus out for, uh, girls day out. Uh-huh. Where, where are you two ladies going? Coney Island. Coney Island. Coney Island. <laughs> Really? Didn't they tear that place down? No, they were going to, but they didn't, obviously. Well, that's a shame. They should have. I are. Go back to Key West. Coney Island is magical. Whatever, whatever. You two have us. fun. We Just don't will. call me no, when you get arrested. I won't call you when I get arrested. Get your stuff. We've got to go. Excited. Okay, we need to get the cheap margaritas. Mm-hmm. Go see the freak show and pretend to be conjoined sisters. Go to <gasps> and... Cyclone. <laughs> so excited! Oh my goodness, Art! He still is such a stick of his ass towards me. I know, I know, but in his defense, okay, so he went to Key West for vacation. He's super cranky. His Cuban lover, whatever, didn't come because he wrote to me saying, Katie. Excuses, excuses. Yeah. But he is paying for like a 20% of my rent while I'm gone. Mm, That's You know, I mean. I guess, I suppose, maybe, not really. We need to talk about our mottos again. I've been exercising number three. 